What's up guys, Shane Starnes with Droid Modder X here. Today I'm going to show you guys quickly how to install CyanogenMod 12.1 to the HTC One M9 Developer Edition. Now this should work for any other edition that has an unlocked bootloader. The method here is a little different than normal just because this is so unofficial that uh, the newest build had some difficulty. So I'm going to show you guys how to flash the newest build of CyanogenMod 12.1 without all the bugs. And uh, it's a pretty simple process. We'll go ahead and get started with that right now. All right, guys, so to get this installed, you're going to need a few files. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the link in the description. You'll grab the newest CyanogenMod 12.1 build for the HC 1M9. Scroll down to where it says downloads. Go ahead and download that. And then you'll want to go to the third page of this thread and grab a previous build of CyanogenMod 12.1. Just kind of scroll down uh, to where you get this post from Varun, and you'll grab this June 2nd build. So basically what happened is, as they were updating the ROM, they were not wiping data, and for some reason when they wipe data going to a new build, it actually removes wallpapers and removes the navigation bar, basically rendering the ROM useless. So we're going to install it in such a way uh, where everything's working and everything is functional. So also what you want to do is make sure that you do grab a copy of the G apps and I'll be sure to include a link in the description for where to grab the G apps. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and power down the phone. Okay and then you will hold power and volume up to boot into the bootloader. Okay and then from this screen you're gonna press volume down to where it says reboot bootloader. Go ahead and press the power button to select. Give this about a minute and a half or two minutes. It takes a while to actually boot into the bootloader. Okay, so once you boot it into bootloader, we're going to go down to recovery mode. So volume down to recovery mode and then power to select. That's going to boot into Team Win Recovery Project. From here, what you want to do is go ahead and wipe data. Go back. Go back again. Go to install. We're going to go to that June 2nd build. Go ahead and flash the June 2nd build. Okay, as soon as the June 2nd build flash, we're going to go back and install the G apps. Okay, go ahead and reboot system. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and boot into the system, set up your ROM, and then you'll boot back into recovery and flash that latest build. You don't want to stay on the June 2nd build because it is filled with bugs, uh, but we have to flash that first in order to... Uh, in order for our navigation bar and wallpapers and everything else to really be functioning. Flash that first and then we will uh, set up the ROM, boot in recovery, and then without wiping data, we'll flash the newest build. Okay, once you've got CyanogenMod 12.1 all set up, we'll go ahead and power the phone off and boot back into recovery. Okay, and then volume down to select reboot bootloader, power to select it. Okay, then from the bootloader menu, we're going to scroll down to reboot. Uh, boot to recovery, go ahead and select that with the power button. It's going to boot us into twerp and then we're just going to flash the latest build of CyanogenMod 12.1. Let's go to install. Do not wipe data here because if you wipe data that's going to kill your navigation bar wallpapers and basically make the ROM unusable. Instead we're just going to flash the latest build over the top of the June 2nd build. Okay and then we'll just reboot the system. And there you have it, guys. Pretty much a straightforward process. The only thing is if you were to, you know, without knowing if you would have installed the latest version you probably would have been upset because your phone would have been basically unusable you should always do an android backup of your working rom before you go and flash something you know even if the developer says it's fully stable you never know anyways guys that about wraps it up for this video if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future you can find more of me at droidmutterx.com news.howandandroid.com droidforums.net thanks guys for watching be blessed i'll see you in the next one